Welcome to Shadow Hearts. Not related to Kingdom Hearts. Shadow Hearts is one of the more interesting PS2 RPGs, I think. It has some interesting spins on the battle mechanics. And also is one of the very few horror-based RPGs. With some very disturbing enemy designs, to say the least. It has been a very long time since I've played this. Probably at least two decades. <laughs> so I don't remember most of it very well. But I'm excited to get back into it. Uh, brief note, the uh, uh, cutscenes don't uh, usually have subtitles. If I remember, I'll add subtitles in myself. Just because sometimes it can be a little bit hard to understand what's going on. So if you see subtitles in the following cutscenes, I did that. But let's get started, shall we? Rouen, France, 1913. A travelling priest brutally murdered before sunrise. His body lay scattered in pieces as, it's, as if savaged by a beast. His daughter, believed to have been travelling with him, is missing. South Manchu Autumn, that same year. already past 2300, and it's still a long way to Fengtian. Fengtianji, what is this about? Why the special train in the middle of the night to escort this girl to Japan? She looks pretty ordinary to me. Hell if I know. There's no telling what the big shots in Tokyo are thinking. <laughs> Next time I see you know who, I'll ask her, okay? There's a theme with the games I'm playing at the moment. Both of them start on a train. 
Okay, let's get into it, shall we? We get right into the introduction of the battle system with our main character, Rude Hero. Uh, so we have basic attacks, obviously. This character has a unique ability of fusion, which I'll go over later. We also have items and defend. So let's try a basic attack, shall we? And let's really see the uh, unique element of this battle system. It's been a minute, so I'm not good at it, but... <laughs> Basically, almost everything in this battle system is dictated by the Judgment Ring, as they call it. So the hand goes around the ring, you press the button to hit it in the right areas. If you get it in the red sections, you get a critical, and the orange is just a normal hurt, and obviously anything else you miss. Keep hitting it and you can do more hits. And as you get new abilities and different abilities later on, different parts of the Judgment Ring will do different things. And you can also upgrade the ring later as well. Which I think is just really neat. You received thoroughly. And Mana Leaf. Thorough Leaf being a HP healing item, Mana Leaf being a MP item. Yes, it is MP in this. <laughs> There's also SP, which is for sanity points. <laughs> which is a whole other thing that we'll get into later. Yes, our menu. <laughs> yes, there is a graveyard <laughs> menu. Again, we'll get into that later. And also, just like Wild Arms 3, we're taking it to the roof of the train! <laughs> uh, although our villain in this case, instead of Janus, is Roger Bacon. <laughs> Fun fact about him, he's actually a real person. Roger Bacon was a medieval English philosopher. And was considered by many to be a wizard. See, that's just one of the fun things about this game, is they do tie in some... Uh, Real life stuff. Because, fun fact about this game, it is set in essentially alternate history Europe, for the most part. Which is another unique aspect about this, which I quite like. Anyway, <laughs> enough about bacon. Ah, there's never too much about bacon, is there? Mmm. Mmm. Bacon. <clears throat> anyway. You're a persistent little rat, aren't you? You ain't getting away, Pops. Let's show off in this fight the fusion system. Which essentially is Root Hero's unique ability, which lets him transform. He can become a number of demons which have their own unique stats and abilities and uh, special attacks. So you can do Drain Wave to drain MP. You can raise his own special attack power. Or you can attack the tar target with a living darkness. And also you can disembody to become human again. You may have noticed though that drained a lot of SP. For now, don't worry about it. But... In future fights, that will become a little bit more relevant. Let's start off with Dark Messenger, shall we? Hit the green. Oh! Missed. Because I missed, he didn't do anything. 
That's the risk reward of this system. You can play it safe and just hit the the big target. But if you hit the red, you get a critical hit. But if you miss, you do nothing. So that's the uh, interesting balance of the system. I'm not best. I'm not good at reaction times at the best of times. But... Okay, we actually got a full one. Revelation. Yeah, that was a scripted fight. <laughs> you can't win that one. You're stronger than I expected. Ugh. Now, foul monster, you shall cease to be. What, what on earth? What? That was a pretty good opening, I think. And here we have our overworld, overworld map. And that's how this game splits up the uh, map. There's no like old world you can walk around on. Instead, you just pick the points on the map from the menu. Of course, a save here, which I shall. I'll go over all the stuff in this menu later when it becomes more relevant. There's, there's quite a bit here. Some useful stuff. There is also an in-game tutorial with all the different things. FAQ. What is an FAQ? FAQ is abbreviation for Frequently Asked Questions. Oh, that's charming. Can't attack very well. Technically this isn't a question, but... <laughs> Judgment Ring may take some practice to get used to. Yes, I'm not very good at it, especially because it has been a while. Although, even when I was like playing this properly all those years ago, even by the end, I still wasn't very good at it, so... Yeah, most of this, I'll just go over when it's relevant. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff here you can look up, which is just nice. I like a game that has an in-game help system. Anyway, let's go to the planes. Yo there, finally coming too, huh? If you're looking for the train, it's long gone. <laughs> Pretty exciting, huh? You're getting a tingly feeling right about here. No, stay away. Stay away? I haven't done anything yet. Yet. <laughs> Stay, stay back, please. I, I can't. No, I, I can't do anything. I. Bye. Huh? 
Where do you think you're going? I'm telling you, it's not safe that way. Ugh, give me a break. Hey, girlie, don't run off like that. Damn voice again. Stupid voices, okay, I get it. I'm supposed to protect you, right? Before we do, let's go check around for items. Because this game has a lot of secret items. <laughs> what are you doing? Wake up. You attacked or something? Told you it was dangerous, didn't I? Looks like I'm the only one who's getting all tingly inside. Maybe I should make a move. <laughs> Not the place, guy. Uh, hello? I wonder if she'd mind if I... I'm guessing yes, she would. Hey, girl. Don't just lie there like a dead fish. Get up. I bust my hump saving you, then you take one look at me and run off? Then you faint? You got no manners, you know that? A, a monster just suddenly? Yeah. There's a lot of hungry wolves and blood sucking bats around here. You're probably attracting them. You smell pretty good, you know. <laughs> that's, that's something a serial killer would say. <clears throat> Anyway, don't run off like that, okay? Because if I don't do like the voice says, my head's going to split open. <laughs> Maybe talking about the voices in your head isn't the best pickup line either. <laughs> Just saying. Uh -huh. The correct response. Don't hurt me. Someone or something is pretty damn insistent that I protect you. Protect me? That's right. It's always go protect that person or go to that town. Stupid voice jumps into my head all the time. And now it's ordering me to protect you. Anyway, at least I'm never bored. Whatever it tells me, wherever it tells me to go, there's always plenty of monsters. Probably not the best place to bring someone you're supposed to protect. You probably want to get them away from the monsters. So that's why you're on the train? Yep. But thanks to that voice, I'm changing from your ordinary bad boy type into a real psycho. I think he may have always been a little bit of a psycho. What about you? Hey, are you psycho too? Do you see weird things? Maybe. Well, you don't seem quite like me, but... Eh, whatever. We can't just chat all day. First, we gotta find a place to rest, and I'm getting hungry. Oh, I almost forgot. My name's Yuri. You can call me Yuri, because my name is Yuri. Thus, you can call me Yuri, because my name is. Steve. <clears throat> Yuri. I'm... Alice. Alice Elliot. Please call me Alice. Because my name... 
is Alice. Thus you can call me. Alice. I am running this joke into the ground. For my name is Alice. <laughs> Alice, huh? Even your name's cute. Okay, I got it. I won't touch you. Right, we're off. Let's quick look around here. Sometimes you might just find hidden items out in the field. <clears throat> now we have Alice in our party. The SP system. Is a little, little bit more relevant because you'll notice her SP is very low. Basically, FP goes down by one each turn, and once it goes to zero, the character goes berserk, which means Yuri can last 22 turns and Alice can last four turns. But when you use fusion, see the number next to Death Emperor that's 16, it uses up 16 SP. And that is a mechanic that's going to be quite annoying to manage. But, uh, overall, it's not, it's not too bad. Just It's just something to be aware of. It is kind of a hard-coded time limit for, for fights. You don't want to drag the fights on for too long. You will get ways of recovering SP, though, to extend the fights, but... Generally, you don't want the fights to drag on too long. Just something to be aware of. I always miss that last one. Ouch. Now, Alice's unique ability is white magic. At the moment, she can cure. We don't need that right now. So instead... Elk's attack. With a book. She's not very good at attacking, is she? <laughs> yeah, she's basically the healer of the team. Whereas Yuri is kind of the DPS. Damage. Go down this way. Dead end. Um, maybe if we do something with this Lewis gate, we'll be able to cross the river. Huh? Ah, of course. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Sure. <laughs> anyway, let's have a little search then. This is going to be a long night. <laughs> well, there's a treasure chest up there that we can't get to yet. Another fight. Oh no! Not spiders. Okay, the spiders die pretty quickly, so Alice should be able to kill one. Well, not if I miss, anyway. Bloody hate spiders. Alice leveled up. She could actually do with a bit of a healing now. Go to the menu, and go to special skills, and go to Alice, and go to Cure, and go to herself. Slew escape. Looks like it'd work if it had a handle. And down here. We have a little save point. 